So where did you get the, the work ethic from? Because it sounds like uh, your mom wasn't big into it. Uh, and yet you're somebody who was working hard basically from the time that you left high school. And I know you were into football when you were in high school as well. Yeah, it, it, I learned my work ethic from sports, probably football, which was a really hard, taxing, sort of hot. You know, like I learned t football will teach you discomfort and how to kind of tolerate discomfort because when you're in the San Fernando Valley and you're running, you're doing two a days in early September and it's brutal outside and they think water's bad for you. Like just rinse, don't, you don't literally like <laughs> spit it out, you'll cramp up. Like I'm depleted, <laughs> please. And you're just running wind sprints and like full, full gear. It's crazy, it's, it's like the military. So I probably learned that but later on, I just learned that I had to use my back to make money. So I didn't have any kind of, there was no path in intellectually to get paid. So if I was going to get paid, it was, it was going to be because there was a stack of drywall over there and you needed that stack of drywall moved over there. And that's how I got paid. And, and, and it literally digging ditches and just demoing out stucco and hauling garbage, you know, like that's, that's all I did. I, ha I had jobs where like, I just get dropped off at the Pier 1 Imports now on Wilshire in Santa Monica. We built it a million years ago. And there's just a huge pile of dirt, like like size of like two minivans. And they gave me a shovel and a wheelbarrow. And they're like, the dumpster's over there. <laughs> and they're like, however long it takes you to get that into that, then you can leave. And I was just alone, just like all day, just scoop, you know, one load at a time, like counting my steps and trying not to go insane. But anyway. As someone who once picked up an object, this sounds terrible to me. Yes. I'm not, I could definitely, this would not be in the Shapiro wheelhouse. In 1996, Ben Shapiro picked up a feather duster <laughs> and handed it to one of his squires. But that still counted. <laughs>